March 23, Monday of the fourth week of Lent. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they have seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him, to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go. Your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While he was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time Jesus had said to him, Your son will live, and he and his whole household came to believe. Now, this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord Royal Official There are several details in the Gospel that are rather astounding. The central figure is a royal official. This means that he is probably a man of high standing in the court of the king here. Possibly he is a Roman, not a Jew. He seeks out Jesus, a Jew, and a simple village craftsman. With persistence, he requests Jesus to heal his sick son. Note the official's humility. Next, Jesus, seeing his faith, tells him, You may go, your son will live. The Gospel notes that the man believed what Jesus said to him and left. Only later do his servants meet him and relay the news that the boy has been healed. The official believed Jesus' word, even though He had no assurance of the outcome. Once the official comes to faith in Jesus, he brings his entire household to faith. He wants them to share his newfound faith in Jesus. Indeed, this gospel narrative illustrates some pivotal dimensions of true faith. It is humble. It believes without demanding signs. It becomes missionary, sharing the news with others. How can my faith become more authentic during this Lenten season?